So in this section 9.3, we're going to look at energy diagrams. Okay, and if you remember in chapter 5, we considered four kinds of energy that describe all kinds of energy. That was kinetic, potential, source energy, and thermal energy. Okay, let me just make that a bit bigger. Okay, um, but what we want to do is, instead of looking at it like this, initial kinetic energy, final kinetic energy, initial potential, and final potential, we want to simply look at the change in the energy of a system, okay, from uh, one, at one point to another. And then we want to also look at the work done. So we want, to try to, we want to try to analyze systems using this kind of energy diagram. So we want to look at the changes in kinetic, potential, source, and thermal, and the work done. So remember what we were saying earlier, is that if there's an external force or a, uh, a resultant external force acting on a system, then that external force can potentially change the energy of the system. Okay? So work is the change in energy. So this is basically what we want to try to do. Is we want to look at the change in energy of the system and we want to look at the work done on the system. Okay, so that's a, a quick introduction. Now I want, to, I want us to do an example which will illustrate how we use this idea. Okay, so a cart is at rest on a low friction track. All right. Does that make sense? A cart is at rest on a low friction track. Um, a person gives the cart a shove, a push. Then the cart begins to move. It collides with the spring and it begins to slow down. Okay? So just try to picture what's exact, what exactly is happening. Now, what is the question? It says, draw an energy diagram for the system. Okay, so this is important. This is very, very important is um, the way these energy diagrams are constructed is dependent on the system that you choose. Okay, so now they say, they tell you to choose a system that comprises of the person and the cart, not the spring. Okay? The person and the cart, that's your system. So now let's try to draw and construct an energy diagram. Um, over the time interval from the instant the car is at rest to when it begins to slow down um, due to the spring. Okay. So, so the thing that we want to ask ourselves now is, um, maybe I can go here. So remember now, we've got these four kinds of energy, delta K, delta U, uh, delta U, delta source energy, and delta thermal energy, and then we've got work. So basically what we're saying is that delta E is equal to work. This is our equation. If there's work done on a system, it changes the energy. So when this, um, is there a change in kinetic energy of this cart? Well, yes, it starts at V equals zero, velocity equals zero, and then you push it, and then it slows down due to the spring. But the point is that the velocity, the final velocity is a, is, is a positive, whereas the initial velocity is negative. So we have an increase in kinetic energy. Okay? So we would, if we drew this, we would have an increase in kinetic energy. So if that's your zero. Okay, now what about potential energy, delta U, potential energy change? Now this is, this is where it gets interesting. Is there a potential energy change in the system? Well, the answer is no. Even though there's a spring there, remember the spring is not in the system. 
If the spring was in the system, then if you compressed the spring, there would be a potential energy change. But the spring is outside the system, so the system has no change in potential energy. So this would simply be zero. What about source energy? Is there a change in source energy? Well, remember, source energy is whenever we have a chemical or a nuclear reaction. Okay? So, remember that if you are doing exercise, if you're pushing something, if you're doing a push-up, if you're picking up something, your body is converting source energy, which you got from water and food and sunlight and that kind of, that source energy. If you're doing some, if you're doing some strenuous exercise, then your body is converting source energy into other forms of energy. Okay? So, you are losing source energy. It is negative. Okay? So, this is your zero. So, you are, you are using up your source energy. Okay? And now, another interesting question is, is there a change in thermal energy? This question, this problem says that there is a low friction track. So we do not consider friction. So this is also another interesting point that even though it's low friction, you are increasing the thermal energy of the system because whenever, this is from chapter 5, go check it out, whenever you use up source energy, you are increasing the thermal energy of a system. Okay? So we have a positive increase of kinetic, we have no change in uh, potential. We have a negative change in source energy and we have a positive change in thermal energy. Okay? Now, was there work done on the system? Well, first of all, one simple way of knowing is if all you need to do is add up this, this energy, this positive energy plus this, plus this negative energy, plus this positive energy. If you add these up, and there's a non-zero value, then that means that there was a non. Then that means that there was work done, either positive or negative. Okay. Now, the reason now was there positive or negative work done on the system? What is your? How do you determine this? Well, there's there's two ways. There's two ways of determining it. The one is, was energy removed from the system or added to the system? So, what I can tell is that there was a certain amount of kinetic energy, okay, and you reduced that kinetic energy. So, it seems to me that intuitively you would have removed energy because this, this um, object was moving and you slowed it down, okay. But actually, perhaps a, a better way is just what is the direction of the spring force? It's in that direction. And what's the direction of displacement? It's in that direction. So these two directions are opposing each other. So the, we have to have had negative work done by the spring. Okay? So whenever, if a spring is outside the system, then it does work on the system. Whereas if the spring is inside the system, then the potential energy of the spring changes. Okay, so, this is what we get, and that's exactly what we did in our exercise. So, negative work was done. So, the point is, if you add that, plus that, plus that, plus that, you will get this. Work equals that, plus that, plus that, plus that. Okay?